Welcome everyone. Here are some AWS scenario based interview questions and answers. Suppose a company wants to migrate its own premises infrastructure to AWS. What steps would you suggest them? I would suggest few steps. First to evaluate the current infrastructure. The first step would be to evaluate the existing infrastructure and identify which components are critical for the business. Choose the right services. Once you know which components are important, choose the right service, AWS services that can replace them. Develop a migration plan. After selecting the AWS services, develop a migration plan and prioritize the components that need to be migrated first. Test the migration plan. Before actually migrating, test the migration plan in a test environment to ensure that it works as expected. Migrate the components. Once you have tested the migration plan, migrate the components to AWS. Then test the migrated components. Finally, optimize the infrastructure. After migration, optimize the infrastructure to ensure that it is efficient and cost effective. Next question. Suppose a company wants to ensure that its web application is highly available and can handle a large number of requests. What AWS services would you suggest them? Amazon Elastic Load Balancer to distribute the incoming traffic across multiple instances of the web application. Amazon EC2 Auto Scaling to automatically adjust the number of instances based on the incoming traffic. Amazon RDS to manage the database backend of the web application. Amazon S3 to store static content of web applications such as images, videos and files. Amazon CloudFront to cache the content of the web application and serve it from the nearest edge location to reduce latency. Amazon Route 53 to manage the DNS of the web application and route the traffic to the nearest edge location. Suppose a company wants to store and analyze the large amounts of data on AWS. What AWS service would you suggest them? We can suggest AWS Amazon EMR to process large amounts of unstructured data using Apache Hadoop, Spark and other big data frameworks. Amazon S3 to store large amounts of data in a cost effective and scalable way. Amazon Redshift to analyze large amounts of data, structured data and generate insights from it. Amazon Athena to query the data stored in Amazon S3 using SQL without the need to set up any infrastructure. Amazon Elastic Search Service to search, analyze and visualizing the data. Amazon Kinesis to ingest and process the real-time streaming data. Suppose a company wants to ensure the security of its AWS resources. What security best practices would you suggest them? Use strong authentication, use IAM, identity and access management, users and roles multi-factor authentication, password policies to ensure that only authorized users have the access to AWS resources. Monitor the resources. Use AWS CloudTrail, AWS Config, AWS CloudWatch, 
to monitor the activity and configuration of the AWS resources. Encrypt the data. Use AWS KMS AWS S3 encryption, AWS RDS encryption to encrypt the data at rest and in transit. Implement network security. Use the security groups, network ACLs and VPC to implement the network security and isolate the AWS resources and implement least privilege, use IAM policies and roles to implement the least privilege principle and ensure that the users have only necessary permission to access the AWS. You have been tasked with designing a highly available and scalable web application. How would you approach this task using AWS services? I would start by using a Amazon EC2 instances to deploy my web application and Amazon RDS to manage my database. To ensure high availability, I would deploy my application across multiple availability zones within a region and use elastic load balancing to distribute the traffic. I would also use Amazon S3 to store static content and Amazon CloudFront to serve content from edge locations for faster delivery. To scale my application, I would use Amazon Elastic Beanstalk or Amazon ECS to manage containerized applications and use Amazon DynamoDB or Amazon Elastic Cache to manage any caching requirements. You are experiencing a sudden spike in traffic to your web application. How would you handle this? I would use auto scaling to automatically add additional Amazon EC2 instances to my application to handle the increased load. I would also use Amazon CloudFront to cache static content and serve it from edge locations reducing the load on my web application. Additionally, I would use Amazon Elastic Cache to cache frequently access data and Amazon DynamoDB to handle any additional database capacity requirements. You have a large amount of data that needs to be processed quickly. How would you approach this using Amazon services? I would use Amazon S3 to store the data and Amazon EMR to process it using Hadoop or Spark. EMR provides a managed Hadoop and Spark service that allows you to easily process large amounts of data quickly and eff efficiently. Additionally, I would use Amazon Redshift to store and analyze the processed data. You want to ensure that your data is stored securely and meets regulatory compliance requirements. How would you approach this using Amazon services? I would use Amazon S3 to store the data and ensure that it is encrypted at rest using server-side encryption with Amazon S3 managed keys or customer managed keys. I would also use Amazon S3 access points to enforce fine-grained access policies to the data. For compliance requirements, I would use Amazon S3 object lock to prevent deletion or modification of objects for a specified retention period. Additionally, I would use Amazon CloudTrail to log all API activity and Amazon Guard Duty to detect and respond to potential security threats. You want to deploy your application in a serverless architecture. How would you approach this using AWS service? 
I would use AWS Lambda to execute my application code in response to events and Amazon API Gateway to expose my Lambda functions as a RESTful API. I would also use Amazon S3 to store static content and Amazon DynamoDB to store application state. Additionally, I would use Amazon SNS or Amazon SQS to decouple application components and Amazon CloudWatch to monitor and troubleshoot the application. That's the end of the video and stay connected, subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.